Hi, have you ever posted a link in Schoology and heard complaints that it's showing up as just a blank white square? Um, that's a thing we know how to solve. And today's Fun Fact Friday video is gonna show you a couple steps really quickly on how to fix that problem. So um, what I first wanna show you is a demonstration of this issue in case you've never encountered it. And if you haven't, yay. Um, but so I posted a link to um, a folder filled with these wonderful pictures. And I just wanna show that to, um, to my students, for instance. So I, I did post the link correctly. I know that I did that. And when you click the link, instead of seeing all of my wonderful pictures in this space, I'm just seeing this empty white square. Now, there's a workaround um, that savvy users, I'm sure, have figured out. You press this button up here, um, and it takes the window out of Schoology. It gives you the redirect notice, but then you have to press continue. So at that point, we're looking at multiple clicks. And what I really want is for, um, is for my parents or students to be able to just click once and see what it is they need to see. So I'm going to show you how to fix existing links, and I'm going to show you how to post a brand new link with the correct settings that will eliminate this problem. So let's start with my new link. Um, in honor of our recent celebration of Martin Luther King Jr. Day, I am going to share this link in New Zella. It's actually a another great source that we have. It's a primary source, um, Martin Luther King's uh, letter from Birmingham jail. So I got my link. I'm going to control C, copy the link. So I've got it um, copied and I'm going to go back into my course and I'm going to add this link to my resources. So I click on add materials, add file link. Um, and now I'm not adding a file or an external tool. I am adding a link. So I click on link. I paste my link here. And this is um, MLK's letter from um, Birmingham Jail. Um, so I've got everything ready. Typically, I would just hit add. But we're really looking at trying to make sure that our link content shows up exactly the way we want. So the default setting is to display it within Schoology. But that's actually where that white box problem comes into play. So we're recommending that you click on it again. So you turn that setting off and now notice it says display in new window. So I'm gonna go ahead and click add and I'm gonna show you exactly what happens. So when I press this link, watch along the top, you're gonna to see, let me close that so it doesn't confuse us. You're going to see a new tab open. And that just gives us that tab, we've got it built right in here, and it doesn't try to open within the Schoology interface. Um, but let's also look at how we can fix this link that I had before, because remember, I press it, it stays within Schoology, but the content's not showing up in my window, and then I have to press this button and do all of those steps. So I really wanna edit this link too. So in order to do that, I go to the gear icon, and I click edit, and then again, we're gonna, we're gonna turn off Display in Schoology so that it opens in a new window, Save Changes. So if you ever come across um, someone telling you or you see it yourself that your link is not, that the link that you create is not actually showing up in that square, it's a frame within Schoology, just make that edit to the link and have it display in a new window. Um, and when you're posting new links, always check out and decide whether or not you want that to display in a new window as well. I hope this has been helpful. Have a great week, everyone.